Hello, this is Jeff Kaufman, and this is my oral presentation on Otel Aisha. Otel Aisha, or Otel for short, was born in Nolm in 1922, and he passed away in 1991 in Ginsburg. Otel is one of the most, is one of the preeminent German creators and graphic designers of the 20th century. With his wife Inga Aisha Scholl and architect and designer Max Bill, he created the Hochschule für Gestaltung Ulm, or the College of Design in Ulm. Otto Aisha grew up in a household critical of the Nazi regime. In 1937, he was jailed for attending an exhibit on Entartete Kunst, or degenerate art. He was denied a school diploma in 1941 for not belonging to any Nazi organization. Van Aschol was an early school friend, and Otto befriended his brothers and sisters in 1939, where he met Inga, whom he would marry in 1952. Werner and Inge Scholl were siblings with Hans and Sophie Scholl, who were executed by the Nazis in 1943 for the creation of the resistance group uh, Weiße Rose, or the White Rose, at their university. Aisha was also conscripted into the German army in 1941 and was offered an officer's career. He refused and was therefore denied any chance of promotion to the non-commissioned ranks. Aisha deserted from the military in early 1945 on a train ride back to Germany from France and hid in the Anabaptist community where the Scholl family lived. In 1946, he studied sculpture in Munich and opened his own workshop in the following year. He founded the Ulmer Volkshochschule, or the Ulm Community College, that is still one of the more important schools of design in Germany. In 1953, with his new wife and architect, and designer Max Bill, he co-founded the Hochschule für Gestaltung, or the College of Design, in Ulm, and was the initial docent for visual communications. Together they developed the Ulm me Method, a methodology that is based on working together with industry. Simply put, this new method emphasizes that design shouldn't primarily be created for art. This was the main reason for the rift with Max Bill, and that Bill leaving the, led to Bill leaving the college. Aisha said the college should also incorporate teachings that would help develop industry. Between 1962 and 1964, Aisha was also a visiting professor at the Yale University in Connecticut. In 1967, the 1972 Olympics were awarded to Munich and Kiel in Germany, and he won their contract to design the visual elements for that event. Aisha was a larger-than-life personality. In one video I watched about his life, some of his contemporaries claimed he only respected designers when they argued with him. That sounds odd in English, but it made the audience laugh. One example was a colleague who visited New York City in the 1980s and returned with a design book about the united colors of Benetton. He initially leafed through the book and pointed out everything wrong with the colors, designs, and compositions but he took it home after claiming it was one of the most beautiful things to come of that time. As it goes with a person who is larger than life, he couldn't simply pass away. So in 1991, while riding his lawnmower, it malfunctioned. He could have simply dismounted, but for some reason he decided to stay on. He didn't see the car as he rolled into the street, and he later died of the resulting injuries. Otel and Inga Aisha were trendsetters for corporate design. They were a major influence on the look of post-war Germany. He was given a lot of leeway due in large part to the anti-Nazi activities of the family. While still working at the College of Design in Ulm, he developed the branding for the state-owned airline Lufthansa. Then a new airline combined from two earlier companies, he redesigned the existing crane and changed the color scheme to what you see today. His biggest accomplishment, though, were the designs for the 1972 Olympics. More specifically, his development of the pictograms that are still in use around the world today. His studio developed all the visual elements for that event. They were even put in charge of, for lack of a better phrase, hiding the ugly parts of Munich with flags that they designed and other Olympics-related imagery also designed by his team. Here are some images from the 1972 Olympics. Valdi is my favorite. The Olympics were hijacked by a terror attack, but the beauty of the design was not lost. Aisha mainly used fonts from other designers, mostly Univers, 
which I'm using here in these pictures, which seems to be a parent font for his only major typeface, Rodis, named after the town that he moved to in 1972. He won many awards and received many honors. He also has streets and schools named after him in all of Germany.